Extra. Um, it's a, a covers an artist Romuald uh, Hazume, really interesting um, Nigerian artist, um, artist from Benin, and this is his installation La Bouche du Ra, the mouth of the king. Um, and um, there's there's the king, there's his mouth. Um, and it, uh, it's a multimedia presentation, so it's made from these black uh, petrol uh, gas cans and CDs with voices and the, a short film detailing the lives of these motorists who um, run, basically it's kind of a modern day slavery where they're running um, petrol from, I think, Benin to Nigeria, Nigeria to Benin. Um, let's see, what does it say? It says, um, uh, yes, from ben between Benin and ben uh, Nigeria, and you can see just how dangerous that would be because, you know, you're riding around on that and you get in an accident and you're just a, a, a riding explosion. So kind of very, um, you know, distressing um, image of what's still going on today. Um, his this the main installation that we're looking at today is this one. Uh, this is the mouth of the king, La Bouche du Rhin. And um, you can see it's actually based on a, this very famous um, kind of painting, looks kind of like a painting drawing of like an aerial view of a slave ship with just the bodies splayed out, like how they could fit that many people in there. And it was used by um, Wilberforce to, you know, kind of promote abolition. Um, and you can see the king at the bottom, um, another view of it there. Um, so if you've seen that image, it's this is going to start, you know, reminding you of that pretty quickly. Um, and this sort of interesting, um, the faces, you know, of these people so denied and so packed in, um, really interesting kind of representation, um, using this, you know, petrol, you know, the symbol of, of, of certainly of industrialization and the costs to, uh, humanity, you know, so many people, um, and of course, you know, most extremely those who are enslaved, um, what would have been aboard the ship? Plenty of gin to, you know, block out the horror of who you become in order to do this. Um, I don't know, you know, probably other uses as well. I don't, um, and um, shells, I don't know what those are for. That's another deep dive and you guys can, you know, maybe what that is all about. Um, learn a little bit more about that on your own. Um, interesting. And then um, a sort of a close up and sort of the gun, you know, that was representing this partition. There always was kind of a wall, uh, a line that, you know, you don't cross literally and figuratively. And, you know, great violence obviously would come to anybody who did. Um, and the gun represents that. It's very, very violent. You know, if you study the, the ship, the Zorg, that became the Zong, you know, they were actually throwing people overboard because they could actually get insurance money. Each, each person was insured. And if they thought they could get more of them from the insurance company, then they could, you know, at the sale because they were ill or something, they, their lives were sacrificed for that, um, for, you know, for profit, you know, which is obviously a huge part of, you know, civilization, but particularly of the industrial revolution. Um, so there's the king again and all his glory, this kind of, the, it's this particular photograph sort of really brings out the, the, the lack of eyes, it's sort of like there's just a real emptiness and a gap where the eyes would be, which is a little bit differently than the way the, the, um, the enslaved people are being photographed. You know, here there's like that shadow cast in an earlier photograph as well. Um, you know, it kind of creates a, a, a sense of, of, of just more of a humanity, which I think is really interesting, um, just in the photography of the piece. Um, I'm not sure the feather is interesting too, probably more to know and sort of think about that. I'm never always that good at figuring these things out, but really interesting. And, you know, just again, uh, the images, I guess, um, you know, what we're seeing. So anyway, um, you know, interesting stuff. And there's a lot of great art out there that really tells a story. And I think that that's, um, you know, interesting to remember that, that a lot of artists, that's, that's what they are there to do is to tell the story of their time. Um, and, um, he certainly does, uh, in a very interesting way.